Hey guys, welcome to Meow Club. Sorry it's been a while, been super busy. I've got some cool deck techs for you today. Um, thanks by the way everyone watching, commenting, subscribing, it's great for me and it encourages me to do more stuff. So as you can see, we have a commander deck. A uh, This light is atrocious, okay. We have the Scarab God. I've been planning on building him since I saw the card and I've finally got round to it. Um, I'll warn you, well, let's read the card. Beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses X life and you scry X, where X is the number of zombies you control. So surprise, surprise, it's a zombie tribal deck. Four mana, one black, one blue. Exile target creature from a graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 4-4 black zombie. When the Scarab God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. So, a lot of great stuff there. I'll warn you, um, playing him makes a huge target on your head, so the idea with this deck really is to play a lot of zombies, and then hopefully only play him when we're close to killing everybody. Um, Going back to your hand at the beginning of the next hand step is huge. You avoid a lot of command attacks that way. A lot of the time people just don't really bother to remove him unless they can exile him. And we have a shiny zombie token. It's very important. And a stack of other zombie tokens from over the years. Let's check out the deck. I'm in the hotel, by the way, so... Sorry about the poor lighting, etc. So we've got a load of swamps. We've got some islands. More swamps than islands because the mana balance is off. We've got underground river. Coral Atoll. Let's us make two mana if we return an island to our hand. Uh, Vivid Creek. Bit of fixing. Darkwater Catacombs. Desert of the Mindful. Command Tower, If Near Deadlands, Mortuary Mire, Blighted Cataract, Drownyard Temple, Comes Back from the Graveyard, Field of Ruin, New One, Dismal Backwater, A Gemstone Mine, Exotic Orchard, Dimmer Guild Gate, and A Blighted Fen. A few more non-basics here. Okay, we've got Evolving Wilds, Temple of the False God, Choked Estuary, Dimir Aqueduct, Desert of the Glorified, Westvale Abbey. This is a pretty great card in any deck where you're planning on getting five creatures or more transforms into this bad boy. So I thought that was a good include. High market, we can sack a creature to gain a life. And a lot of the zombies can come back, so. And finally, Crumbling Vestige, that's the mana base. <clears throat> Let's get into it. I've organized creatures by curve, uh, well, spells by curve, so we've got a Crypt Breaker. Really great if we can get that going. Phyrexian Reclamation, great value. So we can pay two life to return a creature from our graveyard to our hand. Dread Wanderer keeps coming back. It's a recurring theme. Um, Graph Harvest, it gives our zombies menace and we can pay for an exile a creature from our graveyard to make a 2-2 two -two zombie. Zombie Outlander has protection from green, which can be quite handy. Skin Thinner is a morph creature. When it flips up, you can destroy a non-black creature. Enchantment for two mana. Um, discard two cards to put a 2-2 two -two zombie onto the battlefield. Um, yeah, this is actually going to be handy in the late game for us. I've got a few combos in here. A few win conditions. Negate, really useful in Commander. Dimmer Charm, we can counter a sorcery, destroy a creature with power two or less. We'll look at the top three cards of target player's library, put one back and the rest in the graveyard. 
buy or blight against token strategies. Necromancer stockpile, another enchantment. We can discard a creature card to draw a card. And if it's a zombie, we get a 2-2 zombie. Soul manipulation, we can counter a creature spell and or return a creature from our graveyard to our hand. Lifebane zombie has intimidate and we get to exile a green or white creature card from target opponent's hand when he comes in. Cryptolith fragment for some fixing and some ramp. Diagraph Colossus, just a great zombie. Lord of the Accursed is our zombie lord. Manolith for some ramp and fixing. Ghoul Razor, um, he's not all that great actually, but he should work. When he enters the battlefield, return a zombie at random from our graveyard to our hand. Prized Amalgam, he's a great one. Dimir Key Rune for some ramp. Plague Belchers, just a great zombie I had lying around. Ghastly Remains, so at the beginning of our upkeep we can pay three to return him to our hand. That's quite good. And he has Amplify, which you should look up if you don't know about it. He's a. I can reveal my hand, and for every zombie, he comes in with 1 1. Champion of Wit's not a zombie until we eternalize it, but it's building up our graveyard and our hand, which is pretty awesome. Cancel, one of my favorite spells, and <laughs> put it in most blue decks I build in Commander. Voracious Null. Uh, this is quite a versatile card that can go long games, so I thought it was worth including. Mirage Mirror. This is a good one. Tap another untapped creature you control and it gets 1-1 one, one till end of turn and it's a zombie. Phyrexian Etchings, this is like a budget version of um, Phyrexian Arena but uh, it generally works out. Eternal of Harsh Truths lets us draw some cards. Grave Purge, put any number of creatures from the graveyard to the top of the library and draw a card. Love that spell. Hierophant's Chalice with a ramp. Servant of Timoret. This guy's awesome in multiplayer games and I can regenerate him. Unbreathing Horde. It's quite a cool card. Vesper Ghoul is cool because he lets us ramp and he's a zombie. Cemetery Reaper, another zombie lord that also makes zombies. Amit Eternal, because it's a zombie and it's a good card. Silence the Believers, we can exile multiple creatures and all auras attached to them, which can be relevant. Um, just quite a versatile spell, really, which is why I put it in. We've got a little combo coming up, so... Graveborn Muse, at the beginning of our upkeep, draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the number of zombies we control. Um, can be risky, but then we've got this guy, Psychosis Crawler, so hopefully we get them at the same time and just drain our opponents down before we die. Grave Defiler, so we get to look at the top four, put all zombies revealed this way into our hand and the rest on the bottom, and we can regenerate it. Engulf the Shore, Mass Removal. Grave Digger, um, just a classic zombie card, really. Gavany Unhallowed's great, he gets bigger every time our creatures die. Stitchwing Scarb, we can discard two cards to return him to the battlefield for two. Barter in Blood, pretty great card in Commander, each player sacrifices two. Return a creature from our graveyard to play, and we can flash back it by sacking three creatures. Future Sight lets us basically have some card advantage. Noxious Ghoul. When this or another zombie comes into play, all non zombies get minus 1 1 till end of turn. That can be pretty insane in this deck. Liliana's Mastery. 
just a zombie lord enchantment and makes zombies. Uh, Grey Merchant of Asphodel, because why not? Dread Slaver, um, when a creature dies that's dealt damage by him, we take control of it. Stitcher Geralf, just a great card, and on uh, on flavor for this deck. I have a Gisa and Geralf somewhere, but I couldn't find it. I'll put it in as soon as I dig it up. Silumgar's Command, great versatile spell. Liliana Death's Majesty, I'll probably put the three mana Lillian at some point as well. Advanced Stitch Wing, like the other one, but bigger. Rooftop Storm, this card's great, so we can pay zero instead of the mana cost of zombie spells. That's pretty nuts. Noosecraft Mob, that's cool. Makes tokens, hopefully we can get it back. Uh, Deep Fathom Skulker, it's an Eldrazi, but we get to draw a card every time our creature gets damaged through to a player. Scarb Goliath. Exile two creatures from our graveyard to play it, but it's a big bastard. 6-9 with Trample. Now this guy's a great win con. We can cycle him for two, and when we do, we have target player lose one life for each zombie in play, so that's another win condition. Uh, Sphinx of Magosi, just, I really like this card. I put it in most blue decks. Let's you draw a card and make it bigger. Blue Sun Zenith, some more card draw. Empty the pits, uh, we can delve and we can put X to two zombies in tapped. Uh, Deathbringer Regent wipes the board when it comes in if there's more than five creatures, so that's sort of our emergency switch. And finally, Sutured Ghoul. When it enters, exile any number of creatures from my graveyard and its power is equal to the total power of all the exile cards and its toughness is equal to their total toughness. Haven't got to play this guy yet, but seems pretty fun. So that's the Scarab God Zombie Tribal Commander deck, guys. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know if I missed anything out. I'm sure I have. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you play this deck, etc. And thanks for watching. Bye.